Well, we may be years away from cloning technology being commonplace, but the practice is finding its uses to save animals at risk of going extinct. Evan Krugel explains what a cloned ferret could mean for other endangered species. At just two pounds, this black-footed ferret may seem inconsequential, but Elizabeth Ann is anything but. The Fort Collins ferret is the first endangered species to be cloned in the United States. We thought the species was extinct in 1980 until a ranch dog brought in a ferret and then biologists found a last population near Matisse, Wyoming. Pete Gober says biologists were able to collect and freeze tissue from one of those remaining ferrets, ultimately using those cells more than 30 years later to create Elizabeth Ann. You know, on paper it's quite simple, and, and in real life it's a veterinary procedure and some cell culture, and it's, it's, it's the miracle of life. Ben Novak is a scientist with Revive and Restore, a nonprofit working to rescue endangered species through genetics. I was in love with her when she was just data on a page, but I was knocked away holding her and being able to hold that piece of history. The ferret will be raised at the National Black-Footed Ferret Conservation Center, just north of Fort Collins, where she'll eventually be bred with hopes of releasing her offspring into the wild, a turning point in technology scientists hope to use again. It may never be too late to step in and save a species. So it, it really was monumentous to get here because now it, this really feels like a turning point for possibly using these technologies more strategically to help species throughout the U.S.